Hi, thank you for joining me. My name's Dennis from ONGC and today we're looking at working with tasks in SharePoint. Now I have here my SharePoint page open and I'm going to come over to the left and select my tasks. This is going to take me to a new tasks library which I created earlier and you can see at the moment there are no tasks and by default you actually have the timeline view available here. To get started initially, I'm going to come down and select new task. And this is going to present me with a form to fill in. I can give the item a task name, which I'll just call task one initially. And you can also set a start date and an end date as well. You can also assign the task to members within the office, which this one I'll just assign to myself. When ready, simply click on save to create the task. There's the newly created task and I'm actually just going to add a new one and just add a few down here. I'll pause the video while adding this so you don't need to sit and watch. Okay, so I've created here four tasks, just task one, two, three, and four. I've also given them all a date and assigned them all to myself. Now, one thing I can do here is simply come in, come up to the toolbar, select the list, sorry, I hadn't actually selected the task there. Select the task, come up to tasks in the toolbar, and select add to timeline. That's going to add that particular task to that timeline, and I can simply go through and do that for the other ones as well. Okay, so I've added all four of my tasks to a timeline here, and you'll actually find this is starting to look a little bit like Microsoft Project if you've used that before. It's a bit of a simplified version of Microsoft Project, if you will. So when I've got a task selected here, I can actually, again, you'll notice up in the toolbar or the ribbon up here, I can now start indenting certain tasks, making them subtasks, and now I've actually got a bit of a header here. I can keep continue going further down and add that to a few of them here. Now on the timeline along the top, you can come through and start customizing this a fair bit as well. You'll notice the moment I selected it, I got a new timeline bar along the top. Here are also a few options as far as displaying it as a bar, changing the item to a call out, removing the item from the timeline entirely. You can also come in and start to change some of the colors as well as the text. And you do have a fair bit of customization with the base SharePoint package here. Now you'll also notice this timeline, I can actually come in and select an item by holding it with my left mouse button and simply drag it down and actually bring these items to new lines if you wish. Another thing I'm going to do is actually add a new task and I'm going to call this one overall project. And now I have a new task listed here. Now what I'm going to do is select that overall project, come up to my tasks list up here, and click the move up button, 
which is going to continue to move the task up to the top of the list where I want it. And I can stop editing that. Now again, I can select that overall project and add it to the timeline in the same way as all of the others. And what I want to do here is actually change this particular one to a call out. So it's now going to be a box that's selecting my entire project with the full timeline. You can also start moving this call out box around as well as changing other items to call outs. You might want that one down there. Change it back to a bar. And again, you can change your text and everything else on these call outs in the same way that you did with the bars. Now if coming up to list along the top, we've also got the option to change our views by selecting all tasks here, which is the default view. And you'll notice now we get an option for calendar, which will actually show all of the events in a calendar or a Gantt chart, which can be quite useful, especially if you've worked with Microsoft Project in the past. And now you have a more or less a web version of a Microsoft Project in a rather simple form. Coming up to lists again, I've got our options here to actually connect the list to Microsoft Project and then I'll be able to open and continue to work on this list in Project. Also, now that I have changed it to a Gantt view, I can actually now start coming in and setting predecessors for each task, which would then affect my Gantt view. And you can see there that it starts arrowing down. And I can do that with the other ones. And if you want to return back to the previous view, simply select all tasks. And this will take you back to where we were. So you can see you can actually use the task list in SharePoint to run mini projects within the office, assign various tasks to different staff within the office, setting deadlines, due dates, as well as uh, having the different views like the calendar view or the Gantt chart view uh, to simply and easily see everything. Thank you again for joining me. For all information, please visit our website on www.ongc.com.au or if you have any inquiries, please email us at sales at ongc.com.au. Thank you very much.